What's up everyone, Electronic Search here. Back with another video. Another Eureka video. And this is the last series, the, the last video of, of a special Eureka series, so, yeah. Now I just need to make all this into one big, uh, one big video, and when you will have a movie. So yeah, if you're watching the, if you're still watching this video, Nice job, because it's probably been, like, over an hour. Maybe even two hours, because there were four videos, I think, that went 30 minutes long. So, yeah, it's probably, like, two hours already. This is a big movie. And soon we're gonna actually have another real movie. And maybe, if, maybe I have enough memory... I can make it all in 4K, but we don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Are you kidding me right now? I almost broke the CD drive because I sat on a DVD player, and I almost sat on the CD drive thing that opens. Then how about you just shut your drive? Oh my god, this thing ain't comfortable. Why is it like there's this bump right here? It's really not comfortable on top of this piece of junk. Alright, ooh. Let's test this fax machine. Never actually printed out of it yet. So this will be fun. Sit up. No, sit, sit up. Sit up. No, get, get on my lap and sit up. No, get over here. Stop dumb piece of junk camera sit up sit up sit up you piece of junk all right Facts ready. Well, it better be ready. No, get up. It better be ready. There's not even no buttons on this piece of junk. Where's the print button? There's just the power button. No, there's not even a power button on this thing. You better scooch up over there before you fall again. How am I supposed to turn this piece of junk on? It has the fax line. This thing doesn't even have the stupid... It doesn't even have any buttons on it. How is a fax machine supposed to make a fax when it doesn't even have a cancel or enter button? That is just junk. It's some kind of wireless fax machine. It doesn't even have an IR port. Maybe there's a remote enter thing. No, there's nothing on the back. Stupid laptop. Maybe this is the thing you're supposed to connect it to. Maybe this is the start button for the fax. Come on, print the facts. 
I need the facts. Print it. Print the facts. Stupid piece of junk. It's not even October 11. Completely messed up. Whole bunch of piece of junk fax machines that don't even do the thing that they're supposed to do. Why is there some kind of piece of plastic in the dumb shoe? Great. Get off facts. Come on, I need to do the facts. Turn on. If it says facts ready, where's the enter button? This piece of junk doesn't even have no buttons. In fact, this thing literally has zero buttons. The, not even a power button. So I don't know how this thing works. This one has a power button, but it, but the power button doesn't even do anything. Maybe you need some kind of USB B. This computer does not work. Jitsu. Maybe this one will work. Get up. Come on, Fujitsu. Get up. Why does it just break like that? I broke the trackpad. This piece of junk is just so ridiculous. Maybe this netbook will do something. No, it doesn't even run the correct OS. Doesn't require Windows 8. This one doesn't even work. Where is that Windows? Oh, actually, it's not compatible with Windows 10. Ready, Del, because this is your final final time, and then you're going in there, and I don't even want to think about it. Three, two, one. Actually, you know what? We'll just stay right there. All right, we need to find a vacuum's head, which is somewhere up here. And I don't know if it's up there or not. No, it's not up there. A piece of trash. No, that's just full, full of the Christmas stuff, just like all the other ones. Maybe vacuum's f uh, head full in here. No, that's also all Christmas stuff. Did it fly up there? Did it fly behind there? Where is this vacuum's head at? I wish I had my flash on.
I don't think he's down there. He can't even be down there. Nope, not in there. All right, vacuum. And I guess you'll have to wait till Christmas. What was that? The HP netbook. It probably is the HP netbook. Let's see. Yeah, it was the HP netbook. Well, guess what? This fax machine. You know what? I need to get one of these chairs in here. That would be comfortable. But the stupid vacuums made a, a big mess in here. And then look at this piece of junk. Actually, it would be great to fit one of these chairs in there. But we have all this stacked and stacked and piled up together. So we can't. Because there's no room. And so we could have just had that TV right there. I can find it a wall a wall input somewhere there. Or probably over there. Actually that goes outside. So yeah that would be good. But. If you wouldn't have cleaned up. If you would have cleaned up. We would have put that like three days ago. Since you don't want to clean up anything, there's your answer. Just sit on the floor and just do your own thing. Why is there a metal can in here? There's slippers in there from the flommer. There's a Dell computer, more garbage with toilet paper. I don't know what this TV is doing on top of this vinyl player. Do we even need this TV? It's just taking up space. There's just this RCA back that I do not need. So that's going in the garbage. Wait a second. What is this? Now compatible with Windows 10. Get this vinyl player off the floor. Now I don't know if there's something activity on this LCD because it's busted. So if there is, if so if the LCD works, it's busted. So this entire thing can just go in the bin. You know what would be good if I would have had put it over here. I just want to get rid of these mattresses and put them right there. And and then just block them up with with the boxes. Piece of junk. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get these boxes out of here. Leave that one right there. This one is full of packing peanuts, so that's gonna be great. And if we do need packing peanuts, it's in this box. Now, what's back here? What is that? Plastic with more plastic. By the way, whoever lived back in this house before we moved into this house, which was what? 2014? Uh, in this basement... In each corner, there was all this plastic and garbage left over from the last owner. 
and I don't even want to bother touching that. So it's still sitting in the corner after who knows how long. In fact, when I was building this Wall of China 3, I was taking apart the entire back over there, and I found a pink baseball behind all of it from the last owner that lived here, which I don't know who was. And it's still sitting over there. I don't even want to bother touching that. And then that plastic right there, neither. So here goes construction again. All oh, thanks to this, um, what is his name? Uh, this. Really? Thanks to this DVD player for tripping on, for me tripping on its cord. And I just dropped all the flammer sheets, which are going in the garbage. Because the vacuums don't even do it anymore. So it's garbage. I'm not going to be wasting time. There's a ton of bags, which I don't know what's in there. A toy... Uh, there, Eureka. A plastic toy. Some cardboard. Oh, this is from that Batmobile. I'll put that back there. Move TV. Which is now completely ruined. So it's not even worthwhile mounting it back on what... It was, oh, we we can't even do vacuum ball anymore. Oh, it was hanging on that hook right there. That's what it was. Oh my God, the entire Batmobile box is down here. Great. There's this. Ew. There's a ton of bags inside of a bag. More bags. Um, bubble wrap, which is going to be useful for something that I'm sending. And the packing peanuts are in there. A backpack. More bags. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Then go over there. It's close enough. 